Today I'll be discussing the ProQuest SERS Issues Researcher database. As a reminder, there are two ways to access this database. First is through the library website. This is for on-campus users. Scroll down to Articles and Databases. You'll get a full list of our databases in alphabetical order in the middle of the page. Scroll down to SERS Issue Researcher and click to open. If you are off campus, you want to make sure that you are logged in to Access Rio. Select the library option on the left hand side menu. Again, you will see a alphabetical list of our databases. Scroll down to SERS Issue Researcher and click to open the database. SERS is a pro con database and deals primarily with controversial or hot topic issues. You'll notice in the database at the top is a search bar. We'll come to that later. In the center of the page, you'll see a list of trending topics and editor's picks. With the trending topics, you can scroll through and see all of the current topics that are trending. Same thing with editor's picks. You can scroll through and see all of the listed topics. If you scroll down, there are some options if you need help choosing a topic. All of the topics are broken down by major categories. You'll see here business and econ, ethics, school, family, and youth, world culture and politics, and you can also select all leading issues. You can select that option also up at the top where it says leading issues you can click that drop down and it will take you to the list of categories that you saw listed at the bottom. Let's select all leading issues. Here you will see listed at the top all of the categories. You can select these at any time. These leading issues right now are sorted by trending. You can also select last updated where they will be listed in alphabetical order. And you can also select to see all of them from A to Z in alphabetical order. I'm going to go back to trending. These are the topics that are currently popular or hot at the moment. And I'm going to select epidemics since that's something that's uh, consuming our lives right now. Once you select your topic, you'll notice at the top is a breakdown of the contents. There are viewpoints, critical questions, and a timeline. When you select any one of these, it will jump down to that section of the article or document. The first thing you see here is a summary of your topic. If you click on read full summary, it will expand and give you the full text. As you scroll down, you'll notice this is the essential question for this topic. And you will see two viewpoints. Viewpoint one is a pro and viewpoint two is the con. Both of these are addressing the essential question. Below each viewpoint are three articles. Each article supports this viewpoint. So these three articles support the pro and these three articles support the con. As you scroll down further, you'll notice that you can find more sources for epidemics. And if we keep scrolling down, you'll see a political cartoon and some critical questions related to this topic. Going down further, you'll notice the timeline. And this varies by topic. This timeline is specifically addressing epidemics. It begins in 541 with the plague of Justinian, goes to bubonic plague, measles, smallpox, etc. And this only takes you up to 1824. So if you want to see the full timeline, you can select this here. And it will give you a summary and the full timeline of epidemics, all the way up to the most recent news today which you will see has been updated for 2020. Now, if you wanted this information 
for yourself if you wanted to save this information. You can print it, or you can email it to yourself, and you can also save it to a cloud storage such as your Google Drive or OneDrive. You can also select to view related documents here on the right hand side. And you can also listen to this article or this portion in the database by clicking on listen.